Lithium batteries are dead. Tesla just replaced them with something nobody expected. A solid aluminum block that weighs 300 pounds less, costs half as much, and doesn't explode. No lithium, no cobalt, no Chinese supply chains. Just pure American aluminum doing what seemed impossible. The Model 2 is coming at $15,000 because of this. While other car makers are still wrestling with $50,000 EVs, Tesla cracked the code. But here's what's truly shocking. Why did it take this long? Let's dive right in. While China was announcing massive lithium mines in the Himalayas, Tesla's engineers in Austin were working on something that would make those mines irrelevant. No press conferences, no flashy stage presentations with dramatic lighting, just a quiet lab in Texas building what looked impossible. The new battery isn't what you'd expect. It's a single aluminum block, pure and functional, with no traditional cathodes, no toxic materials, no complex packaging. Every lithium battery you've seen is essentially a fortress of protection layers because the chemistry inside is volatile. Tesla looked at that design and asked a different question. What if we used a chemistry that didn't need protecting in the first place? The answer sits in basic atomic physics. Aluminum carries three electrons per atom, while lithium carries just one. That's triple the electrical capacity from a chemical standpoint. Real-world tests are already showing 200 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram compared to lithium's struggle to hit 180. More energy, less weight, simpler design. The question that matters is, why hasn't everyone been using aluminum if it's this good? The answer reveals everything about Tesla's actual competitive advantage. Understanding this shift requires looking beyond the battery itself to what it represents strategically. Over 60% of the world's lithium gets refined in China. Every EV manufacturer, including Tesla until now, depends on supply chains that run through one country. One trade dispute, one political shift, and suddenly the entire electric vehicle industry faces a bottleneck. This isn't theoretical. We've seen lithium prices spike 400% in two years when demand surged. Elon Musk just walked away from that entire system. Aluminum is the second most abundant metal in Earth's crust. The United States alone has over 300 million tons of reserves ready for extraction. Mine it in Arkansas, refine it in Texas, assemble it in Nevada, all on American soil with no cargo ships, no customs delays, no geopolitical leverage points. This isn't just about batteries anymore. It's about energy independence. And when you realize Tesla can now produce EVs without relying on foreign supply chains, the competitive landscape transforms completely. What makes this particularly interesting is the timing. Legacy automakers are still negotiating long-term lithium contracts, locking themselves into a supply chain Tesla just made obsolete. They're optimizing yesterday's technology while Tesla moved to the next element on the periodic table. That's not a six-month advantage. That's a fundamental strategic mismatch that could take competitors years to unwind. This brings us to what happened to the 4680 cell. When Tesla introduced it in 2020, the automotive world was shocked. Higher energy density, lower cost per kilowatt hour, structural integration with the vehicle body. It was supposed to be the future. Now it's 2026 and the 4680 became a stepping stone rather than a destination. The aluminum block does everything the 4680 promised, but better. And the weight savings alone tell the story. Over 300 pounds less per battery pack. That's not a minor optimization. That's a fundamental redesign of what a battery can be. In the EV world, every pound matters because it affects both range and performance. 
But weight is just the beginning. The real advantage shows up in thermal behavior, and this is where the chemistry difference becomes critical. Lithium batteries need constant management, cooling systems, thermal sensors, protection circuits, all because the chemistry can fail catastrophically if conditions aren't perfect. Tesla engineers privately call them controlled threats. The aluminum battery operates comfortably at over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Lithium would be in thermal distress at 80 degrees. The difference isn't incremental, it's categorical. No dendrites forming inside the cells, no flammable electrolytes, no risk of thermal runaway. The battery doesn't need protection because it's inherently safe. That eliminates 70 to 80 kilograms of cooling equipment and safety housing. Think about what that means for design freedom. Tesla can now make cars thinner, lighter, more creative. The battery isn't a dangerous component you hide in the floor. It becomes the floor itself, structural and integrated, safe by chemistry rather than by engineering workarounds. This is where Tesla's vertical integration becomes a decisive weapon. The company didn't just invent a new battery. It redesigned how cars are built around it. The Gigapress, that massive 50,000-ton machine, now casts the chassis and battery housing as a single aluminum piece. No separate battery pack, no protective case, no hundreds of bolts holding everything together. The aluminum block becomes part of the car's skeleton, which eliminates another 88 pounds of bodywork. The implications for manufacturing are profound. Fewer parts means faster assembly, fewer potential failure points, lower costs. The Model 2 was designed from day one with this architecture in mind, which explains how Tesla can target a $15,000 price point while other manufacturers struggle to make $50,000 EVs profitable. The production line simplifies dramatically, with fewer robots needed, smaller factories producing more cars, faster cycle times. When you're planning to deliver millions of vehicles globally, this kind of efficiency isn't just beneficial, it's the entire business model. Now, let's talk about the numbers that really matter to consumers. A 4,680 lithium battery pack costs approximately $8,600 per unit. The new aluminum battery runs $3,900. That's $4,700 in savings per vehicle before factoring in reduced assembly costs, eliminated cooling systems, and simplified maintenance. Add it all up, and Tesla's cost structure just dropped by nearly $6,000 per car. That's not an incremental improvement, that's a market-breaking advantage. The Model 2, at $25,000 base price, suddenly makes perfect sense. With the $7,500 federal tax credit, you're looking at $17,500. Factor in Tesla's typical end-of-quarter promotions and some buyers could realistically pay around $15,500 for a brand new American-made electric vehicle. That's less than the average used car price in America right now. How is anyone supposed to compete with that equation? Here's what makes this particularly devastating for traditional automakers. They spent decades optimizing combustion engine manufacturing, building expertise and efficiency in a technology that's now becoming obsolete. Tesla spent five years quietly perfecting a battery chemistry that makes all that expertise irrelevant. The traditional industry is still trying to figure out how to make entry-level EVs break even, while Tesla just lapped them twice and rewrote the rule book entirely. What this means for consumers is that every barrier to EV adoption just collapsed simultaneously. Cost concerns? Cut in half. Range anxiety? Improved by the weight savings alone, plus the aluminum chemistry doesn't suffer from the last 20% slowdown that plagues lithium batteries during fast charging. 
you can charge all the way to 100% without generating dangerous hotspots. That bottleneck simply disappeared. Safety concerns? The thermal stability is so extreme that testing showed the system stays stable under conditions that would turn lithium batteries into fireballs. You can't make aluminum batteries catch fire even in crash scenarios. And here's something nobody's discussing yet. Longevity. Aluminum doesn't degrade the way lithium does. No capacity fade, no gradual performance loss over years. The battery you buy today performs the same way a decade from now. This raises the question nobody's asking loudly enough. If aluminum batteries are this revolutionary, why did it take until 2026? The technology isn't new. Researchers have known about aluminum ion chemistry for years. Academic papers exist going back decades. But knowing something is possible and making it economically viable at scale are completely different challenges. And this distinction explains everything about Tesla's competitive position. Tesla's advantage wasn't the discovery, it was the execution. The vertical integration, the gigapress manufacturing, the engineering expertise, the willingness to rebuild entire systems from scratch. Other automakers saw the same research papers. They attended the same conferences. They knew aluminum ion batteries were theoretically superior, but they couldn't, or wouldn't, commit to the complete system overhaul required to make it work at production scale. That's the real story here. Not that Tesla invented aluminum batteries, but that Tesla built the entire ecosystem to make them practical. The mining partnerships, the refining processes, the manufacturing lines, the vehicle designs, all synchronized around a single vision. This level of vertical integration is why Tesla can move fast while traditional automakers remain stuck in committee meetings trying to figure out which supplier to contract for next-generation battery technology. The strategic implications are staggering. Tesla now controls its own battery supply chain from raw material to finished vehicle. No dependencies, no bottlenecks, no negotiations with overseas suppliers. When aluminum prices fluctuate, Tesla can adjust. When demand surges, Tesla can scale. When competitors finally decide to pursue aluminum ion technology, they'll find Tesla already owns the key patents and has years of manufacturing experience advantage. Can anyone catch up? Or did Tesla just open a gap too wide to close? The honest answer is that catching up requires more than just copying the battery chemistry. It requires rebuilding your entire manufacturing philosophy. And for companies with billions invested in lithium-based production lines and supplier contracts, that's not a decision you make lightly. By the time competitors commit to the transition, Tesla will be on its next innovation. That's how you win not just a product cycle, but an entire decade. Here's what this really means. Remember when we asked why it took this long if aluminum is so superior? The answer isn't that the technology was impossible. It's that no one else had the infrastructure and vision to make it practical at scale. Tesla didn't just solve a chemistry problem. They rebuilt the entire automotive manufacturing process around a better solution. That's transformation, not just innovation. What we're witnessing goes beyond electric vehicles. This is American manufacturing independence. When you control the raw materials, refining, manufacturing, and the end product, you're not just building cars, you're building an entirely new industrial model. The aluminum battery proves the future of transportation won't be dictated by foreign supply chains or commodity price volatility. And this is just the beginning. If aluminum batteries work this well in cars, what happens when Tesla applies this to power wall home storage, to grid-scale energy solutions? We're looking at technology that could reshape how we store and use energy across every sector. The Model 2, launching in 2026, 
is the proof of concept. What comes after could be even bigger. The real shift happens in 2027, when millions of these vehicles hit the roads and people realize EVs don't have to cost $50,000, don't have to worry about battery fires, and don't depend on supply chains halfway around the world. That's when aluminum becomes the new standard and lithium becomes the old way. What do you think legacy automakers will do? Will Ford and GM license Tesla's technology? Or try developing their own aluminum chemistry from scratch? And how does this change when you'll make the switch to electric? Leave your thoughts in the comments, because this is exactly the kind of debate we need to have. If this breakdown gave you a clearer picture of what's actually happening in the EV industry, hit that like button. Subscribe to Tech Revolution for more analysis that cuts through the hype and shows you what's real. And turn on notifications because when Tesla announces the Model 2 price and specs, you'll want to see our breakdown immediately. The aluminum revolution isn't coming. It's already here. Tesla just changed the game while everyone else was still playing by the old rules.